This is Stephen Wukowski from Christian Music Network, and we're with with Ken Franz. So how are you doing, Ken? Ah, too blessed to be depressed. Good. Okay, cool, cool, <laughs> cool, cool. So tell me about yourself. Uh, Singer-songwriter. I've done it for, oh, 30, almost 40 years. Um, played in bands for quite a long time, then did a solo thing, then had a life-changing event that kind of... Uh, had me hang up the music for a while. I had double bypass at age 42. Um, and then uh, picked it up again about uh, eh, five years ago. Okay, cool. And, uh, yeah, started doing uh, Christian music uh, full-time as far as my writing goes. About four years ago, started a ministry. Oh, awesome. Awesome. So, uh, uh, um, uh, you have some songs to share. Yeah, sure do. Cool, cool, cool. So tell me about your first song. Uh, first song we're going to do is a newer one. It's basically, you know, everybody's got the friend or the neighbor who's always better off than they are. And they don't necessarily want to rub it in your face or anything, but they do, whether they know it or not. And of course, you know, you always, always get a little jealous about it, you know, and a little frustrated with it and um i have a few friends that are like that and mm. just uh, i mean and i love them to death i've known them for years sure. but it's just decisions that i made that have uh basically uh not allowed me or, or uh i should say not allowed me but uh given me the opportunities for the same types of things they have mm. but everything we've got and it's basically not uh, not using the Lord in my decisions that I had made in the past. But uh, yeah, this is one that I kind of wrote about that type of situation. I'm sure everybody can relate to. It's called uh, Just Be Grateful. Cool. <laughs> Neighbor pulled into his driveway. With a brand new boat. Called me over to take a look. I knew so he could gloat. I could feel self-pity and jealousy. Rising up inside. He gets those things so easy. And I'm barely getting by. You just don't seem fair. Because I really try, then a voice inside my ear help put those feelings subside. Why be frustrated or hateful? You should just be grateful. God provides your every need. Just stay faithful. It don't matter. It's a crumb or a plateful. Just be grateful. Save enough money to get another car. Scrimped and saved to spare change in cash. Fill that pickle jar. Then the car we really wanted. Sold before we got there. Kid needed braces, was the call later that day. If we had bought that car, there is no way we could have paid. A blessing in disguise saved us from our despair. Why be frustrated or hateful? You should just be grateful. God provides your every need. Just stay faithful. It don't matter if it's a crumb or a plateful. Just be grateful. Your situation could always be worse. So take a step back. Look and see. And all the gifts. 
that God has given you. Do it thankfully. Why be frustrated or hateful? You should just be grateful. God provides your every need. Just stay faithful. It don't matter if it's a crumb or a plateful. Just be grateful. Why be frustrated or hateful? You should just be grateful. God provides your every need. So just stay faithful. It don't matter if it's a crumb or a plateful. Even if your state you're in is a little painful. It don't matter if it's a crumb or a plateful. Just be grateful. Good, 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 good. Uh, uh, unfortunately, we we couldn't hear your guitar, but really, yeah, 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 yeah. But but uh, uh, we can hear hear your your voice. So, um, sorry to hear that. I mean, it, yeah. it was I, I was thinking it was almost too loud. <laughs> mm -hmm. So, you hear this? No. Oh, that's unusual. Yeah. All right. What about this? Better? Uh, no, it's still. Huh. Can't figure out why if it's picking up my voice, like it's picking yeah. up the guitar. I don't know. So, yeah, yeah, yeah. It happens. Yeah, especially when you're on Zoom. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so. Oh, my. Yeah. So what, what's our n n next song? Uh, next song is a little bit of a testimony that goes along with it. Okay, um, good. Back in uh, 2005, I, I said I had double bypass at age 42. Wow. And uh, laying in the hospital bed a couple days later, you know, just recovering and trying to figure out what the reason is that the good Lord, the creator of the universe gave me a second chance for. Yeah. Not a clue, you know. It's just me. <laughs> right. And uh, thinking about it, thinking about it, couldn't figure anything out. Then out of nowhere, Jeremiah 29, 11 pops into my head. Mm -hmm. Where I know the plans I have for you, plans for good, not for evil, plans to give you hope in the future. So that's pretty much been my mantra for years. Sure. And it's like anything that's going to happen, I mean, it's good Lord's you know blessing or he's allowing it to happen for a reason. So living that way. And then uh, I finally started getting into the Christian music again. And, uh, or I should say, not say again, but into the Christian music. And I used to I'd play a song once a month at my church. Okay. And then on uh, May, let's see if I can get this right here. May 11th, no, May 16th of 2021, I was uh, playing a song at church and set the guitar down when I was done, walked down the aisle, sat next to my wife, about five minutes into the uh, and the sermon, my ears, they fog up. You can't hear anything. Right. It's kind of, it's kind of like Charlie Brown, you know, adults, you know, wah, 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 kind of yeah. thing. Right. And I'm like, well, you know, what's going on? I, Cause I didn't feel sinus pressure or anything, you know? And then out of nowhere, I hear five words as clear as I'm talking to you. Says, Your job is to testify. Wow. And then my, and then my ears on fog. Oh, that's weird. Oh man. My shirt was soaked from tears. Wow. And, uh, you know, 16 years and 11 days after my bypass, he told me what my, the reason he gave me a second chance. Mm -hmm. So I went home, looked up Bible verses, uh, dealing with uh, testifying. I found Acts 2024, 20, and that's kind of been my new mantra. Mm -hmm. And Acts 2024 20, is, you know, I consider my life worth nothing. My job, you know, my aim is to finish the job at hand and complete the task that was given me by Jesus Christ, and that's to testify to the uh, grace of God. Amen. So, yeah. Cool. So basically, about within the next two weeks, I wrote this next song. Okay, cool. It's, this one's called Testify. Okay. Mm -hmm. 
You parted the waters. You made time stand still. Brought creation to existence with just your words and will. You have healed the sick. You have raised the dead. And you never forget to provide my daily bread. I will testify. I will testify. You have proven your love for thousands of years. And remind me that my prayers don't fall on deaf ears. You call me your own. Despite all my faults, you're my savior, my redeemer. It's your name I'll exalt. I will testify. I will testify. I'll testify to the good news of your grace. Testify from this day forward. Till I behold your face, testify your love and mercy, and all that is true. What else can I do but testify for you? You provide my every need and more beyond measure. And I know these gifts will pay. Compared to my heavenly treasure, I'm in the palm of your hand, of that I will rejoice. I will not be ashamed, I will make a joyful noise. I will testify, I will testify. I'll testify to the good news of your grace. Testify from this day forward till I behold your face. Testify your love and mercy and all that is true. What else can I do? Testify to the good news of your grace. Testify from this day forward till I behold your face. Testify your love and mercy. See, and all that is true, what else can I do but testify for you? Good, 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 good. Well, yeah, we can hear the, uh, the, uh, the, uh, uh, guitar, guitar. a little bit more. So. Okay. Yeah. Good. Yeah. Oh, that's definitely good. <laughs> yeah, yeah, cool, good, cool, cool. So tell me, tell me about your next song. Uh, next time I've got, I remember seeing a meme a couple of years ago. It stuck with me. It said, "What if you wake up tomorrow with only those things you thank God for today?" And it kind of hit me between the eyes. You know, it's it's like, whoa, that that is definitely something to think about. Yeah. So. I, I started thinking a little bit about it and I found myself, you know, thanking God for, you know, little things that happen every day, you know, mowing the lawn. I'll say, you know, I'm in Texas, you know, so hotter than heck mm -hmm. and it's a push mower and all of a sudden a cool breeze comes up, you know, just that seemingly out of nowhere. It's like, thank you. You know, mm -hmm. and I, seriously, I mean, you know, things like that, you know, or, yeah, yeah, yeah. you know, you know, gardens uh you know like we got a couple of bird feeders out front and just watching the birds go back and forth and stuff and it's 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 really neat you know so I, it's little things to thank god for so i decided to put a song down uh called little things and it goes something like this wonderful <laughs>
Thank you, Jesus, for the little things. Make my heart smile, what a joy it brings. It's the little things that are there most every day. I know we talk about the bigger things like pain and sorrow, suffering. But I want to thank you for those little things. Like watching a toddler when they try to walk. Her baby giggles and tries to talk. Her quality time spent with the family. Puppy licks and kitty rubs. And all their unconditional love. Or watching a butterfly dancing on the breeze. Thank you, Jesus, for the little things. Make my heart smile what joy it brings. The little things that are there most every day. I know we talk about the bigger things like pain and sorrow and suffering, but I want to thank you for those little things. Lines and bugs lighting up my backyard, or the night sky filled with a million stars. The colors in your sunset and sunrise. Seeing people out to eat, all their heads to pray. Or hearing birds singing at the break of day. Or watching my garden bloom before my very eyes. Thank you, Jesus, for the little things that make my heart smile. What joy it brings. It's the little things that are there most every day. I know we talk about the big things like pain and sorrow and suffering, but I want to thank you for those little things. There's just so many things to be thankful for. Makes me wonder what else you might have in store. Thank you, Jesus, for the little things that make my heart smile. What joy it brings. It's the little things that are there most every day. I know we talk about the bigger things like pain and sorrow and suffering. But I want to thank you for those little things. I want to thank you for those little things. Wonderful. Thank you. Wonderful. So, so where can we get your m music? Uh, right now, the only place that's available is uh, on my on my uh, Facebook page. Okay. Um, I'm in the I'm in the middle of trying to get a, a YouTube page put together, but right now I've only got uh, just vocal and guitar, like kind of like what you're seeing now. Yeah. Vi videos. Okay. Cool. So. Awesome. 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 So, how can we contact you? Um, my, uh, you, you can reach out, reach out to me. My uh, email address is Ken Franz Music, K E N F R A N Z Music at gmail dot com. Gmail dot com. Okay. Cool. Yep. Cool. Yeah. Oh. Uh, 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 uh. So, have you done any concerts? Um, not not really concerts. I've basically mostly been doing, uh, you know, uh, uh, church services. Okay. Uh, I've got I've got a few friends um, that are ministers that have like a cowboy church type thing. Uh, one gentleman, um, I played his service uh, must have been about a month ago, and it was basically he calls it church without walls because he actually holds it on his property, wow. and. He'll have anywhere from five to 30 people show up. It just doesn't really matter. He preaches and he gave me the opportunity to play. And uh, Halloween, um, I will be playing a concert at the, the gentleman I was just talking about is, is holding an event called Godstock. He's trying to make it a Woodstock type of thing, only with Christian music, bands and oh. solo artists and stuff like that. And right now he's got enough for about two days worth of music. Oh. And, that's in, and that's in Bells, Texas. Okay. Wonderful, wonderful. So, yeah. Um, 
um, um, so what's ahead for you? Uh, what's ahead right now is up to the Lord. <laughs> um, basically, uh, continue to write. Well, I've got a new song I was hoping to have ready for tonight, but not quite done yet. Um, but just continue to write. Look for uh, uh, churches and other event, Christian uh, type venues to play at. Um, and I, I wouldn't mind recording some of my stuff, but right now um, I don't know enough uh, musicians to cover it as far as the studio goes. Financially, I definitely can't cover it right now, but mm -hmm. Lord said time isn't right. You know, when it's, when time's right, he'll provide. So um got that in my hip pocket, so to speak, and I'm just going to kind of keep on keeping on and trying to uh, get my, you know, get my music heard and trying to glorify the Lord with each time, each time they hear it, maybe it'll something that they can, um, you know, they can relate to it because most of my stuff that I do is, or that I write is things that I've gone through sure. um, issues that I'm having and how God's helped me out with it or through it. And I know a lot of people that, you know, there's people out there that are suffering that are going through stuff that I've gone through. And if I can help them by, you know, letting them hear one of my songs, um, it's, it's a win-win. You know, I mean, number one, I've written a good song that they can use and it glorifies the Lord at the same time. Yeah, yeah, and I, 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 and the Bible talks about that, you know, you know, that, 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 that we should share our sufferings, you know, to, so, 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 someone else could be comforted by it, you know? Oh, yeah, most definitely. You know, you know, yeah, 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 yeah. I mean, yeah. So that, that's that. That's pretty much about it, honestly. I'm, I, it's. I mean, I've been doing, like I said, I had a, a music ministry for maybe about four years. It's been mostly playing at my church and posting the stuff on Facebook. And now I'm finally starting to branch out a little bit more and play, you know, other churches and things like that. I've got a couple of cowboy churches I'll be playing at uh, next year. I've already got a couple of services booked uh, for them. Uh, I think it's April and July, and that's uh, in Lampasas, Texas. So uh, I've got that to look forward to, and hopefully uh, many more between. Cool, good, cool. So do you have any advice for other musicians? Keep at it. Just keep at it. You know, talk to the Lord. Ask him, you know, what he wants you to say. You know, and and when you ask them, give them time to, to to respond. You know, sometimes, you know, I always say, you know, God will talk to us in a whisper, a yell or a slap upside the head. Sure. You sure, know, sure, definitely. and like when I was debating on getting back into the music again, um, I thought about, OK, I'm going to do this now. Do I do it just as a solo or do I or write and try to get it to publishers? Do I you know, should I put a team together of people that I know? Um, if that are close friends as well as industry people, just that I can bounce ideas off of and know I trust their opinion and their advice. And I'm thinking about it and thinking about it. And I'm, I'm driving to work and while well, I'm muddling this over and I'm listening to some uh, Alan Jackson gospel and I'm listening to uh, wherever he leads, I'll go. Mm -hmm. And I'm just muddling this over. And it's like, well, you know, what, what do I do? Do I put this team together or what? And I look and a van pulls up next to me for a cable company and on the side of the van, I even took a picture of it on the side of the van. It says, don't go it alone. Yeah. You know, so I just kind of had my hands on the wheel. I look straight up and go, you've got my attention. Yeah. You know, there's the slap upside the head. Yeah, there we go. Cool. But, um, you know, just keep at it. You know, don't always keep, you know, a, a notebook, a tape recorder, whatever. I don't know, you know, if you're married or single, depends on that situation. Um, if you want to keep waking your wife up or whatever, middle of the night, you get an idea, write it down, sure. record it, you know, mm -hmm. don't creativity doesn't have uh set hours. <laughs> sure, so, sure. Yeah. I've done that myself. I, oh, yeah. I, 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 I've, I'm like dreaming of a song and then I wake up, I just, well, I got to write that down. Yep. <laughs> uh, yeah. Oh, always keep a notebook with you all the time because you sure. never know. Sometimes it's a, 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 a phrase that you hear. Sometimes mm -hmm. it's something in a, in a song, a line in a song. It's like, okay, that's great. Now, how can I rework this sure. and then put something around it? You know, so ideas come from everywhere, but make yeah. sure that you're doing it for the right reason. 
You know, I mean, I've, I kind of learned that early too. It's like, right. don't do it for yourself. You know, God doesn't care about your ego, right. you know, so do it to glorify him. Amen. Cool. 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 Good advice there, Ken. Thank you. Great. 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 Let, uh, well, let you thank you for coming on. Oh, uh, thank you for having me. Yes. Yes. My p pleasure. Any last words? Um, not really. I mean, I think I pretty much said it all. I mean, I thank you again for your time, you know, and I hope if someone is interested in, you know, in, you know, talking with me to drop me an email, be more than happy to correspond with them. Um, you know, you never know who's going to, who's going to see this. It might spark somebody. It's like, Hey, I got an idea, you know, or sure. that type of thing. So yeah. I'm pretty much wide open. Yeah, 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 and then you can connect with some people, you know. Definitely, some networking. You bet. You know, and that's what what uh, Christian Music Network is all about. It's about networking. Yep, you know? exactly. I mean, I I start out just really just just doing concerts, you know, just you know, yeah, yeah, and and, and just like I just well, I have to be focused so 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 went back to just networking now mm -hmm. yeah yeah i mean you, you build your network up a little bit and then you sure. carve some time out for yourself make sure you make appointments for yourself yeah and do what you got to do and then network in the in the other times yeah yeah i've yeah. been doing this since 1995 oh wow that's yeah, great yes 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 yeah and, and other ministries prior to that but okay. uh, but God, uh, uh, but I came in came in with his ministry kicking and screaming. <laughs> oh, so, because because I said well, I, I've I've done everything, Lord. I don't want to do it anymore. But 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 God said nope. You know, <laughs> sure. Yeah, yeah. He he'll he'll tell you. I mean, exactly. I uh, I'll make this real brief. Um, when I decided to get back into and uh, start doing the music ministry, um. I hadn't played, really hadn't played guitar in years. Okay, wow. and uh, friend, uh, friend of uh, my wife's boss or my wife's boss told us to go see this guy, uh, this local performer comes around to this one restaurant all the time. He oh. told us a few times like, "Yeah, okay," and we're just, you know pretty much blew it off. Third time, it's like, "Look, I'll buy you dinner." It's like, "Okay, hey, free meal, right?" Oh. Guy's name is Scott Sean White. Okay, S, -S E A N. Okay, he's actually he's a professional songwriter. He lives, oh. uh, he lives outside of Terrell, Texas, and he spends half his time in Texas, half his time in Nashville. Wow. He's got, he's got some cuts with, uh, Cody Johnson. Mm -hmm. Okay. He's real super guy, uh, real good, uh, 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 songwriter, unabashed Christian. Um, so the more I heard him play, the more I, I got the itch to play again. And I finally yeah. couldn't stop it after seeing him several times. So mm -hmm. I finally pick up my guitar one day and say, all right, let's see what I can do. And I lost my singing voice. Okay. I had no singing voice and I, I made a deal with the good Lord, you know, and, and normally he doesn't do something like that unless it's for his glory, because otherwise everyone would be rich, everyone would be healthy, you know, but I said, look, if you give me my singing voice back, I will write songs to praise you and help people praise you. And I kid you not, Stephen, two weeks later, I had my voice back, not wonderful. to where it used to be, but good enough to play. Okay. Wonderful. Wonderful. Well, well that's a, testimony of it itself oh yeah i've been very fortunate that way i mean the lord's spoken to me a few times audibly and um i know it's what can be given can be taken away too so i'm yeah. I, I gotta stick with it and continue to give him glory and praise and uh that's what i'm trying to stay focused on sure sure sure, sure. yeah yeah and the gifts of calling of god are are beyond repentance it's a gift you know, you know, you, yeah. know, you, I mean, I mean, with a gift, you use it, you know. Absolutely. And I wish you do it for the glory of God. Yep. Amen. Exactly. It's like what we, you know, our, our talent is, our, is God's gift to us. What we do with it is our gift back to him. Yep. 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 So we're looking forward to, uh, to, uh, to more of your videos on, uh, on Facebook and, and maybe YouTube and, and, and just branch out. Sure. Yeah, and yeah, hope, yeah. hope to have hope to have you on have me on again. Definitely, 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 definitely. Thank you, Ken. And Thank you.
God bless you and good night. Good night.